Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be having a look at a fun combination. We're gonna be incorporating a downward thrust followed with a reverse sweep, moving into a baseball bat motion. This movement feels really powerful and lots of fun. Let's get started. To start things off guys, I'm gonna get into a right forward stance. So what I'm gonna be doing is pushing off with my right foot as I chamber the bow up. As I'm chambering the bow up, I'm gonna step back and I'm gonna be driving my hips down um, to the side rather, as I drive the bow down. Now the bow should be targeting um, like right in front of my body and I'm gonna be moving using a twisting motion. I'm be coming back, chambering the bow up nice and high, twist my hips as I move into the strike. The next movement that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push off again, twist as I strike. I'm gonna bring the bow up over my head chambering the bow so I'm going to get lots of power on my sweep. I'm going to bring the bow down, sweeping across my body, and I'm going to get into a baseball bat stance. You guys have a look at my hands. I want to make sure that I'm not too high up on the bow, otherwise I'm not going to be able to get it past my body. So I'm in my baseball stance. It's what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to step into the strike, horse riding stance, as I swing through. Now I want to make sure that this is done horizontally, and then I'm gonna bring it back around to carry the momentum, and then I'm gonna finish in a horse riding stance in a ready position. Is what this does is it just gives it like a nice polished look to make the technique uh, look like it has a nice uh, completion or spot to finish. Let's give it a look from a different angle. Let's start with that right foot in front again. I'm gonna bring the bow up chambering it. I'm gonna snap my hips as I perform my downward thrust. I'm gonna bring the bow up nice and high above my head sweeping across, moving into a baseball stance, a batting stance. I'm gonna step forward into a horse riding stance as I swing horizontally, and then I'm gonna bring the bow up over into a horse riding stance in a ready position. Again, that just gives it that polished look. Let's do a follow along from behind. I'm gonna be starting with my right foot in front again, pushing off that right foot as I chamber the bow, snapping my hips as I do my downward thrust, the bow is up over my head, sweeping across in a reverse sweep. Now I'm gonna step and strike at the same time. Horse riding stance, horizontal strike coming across, and then back into the ready position. As I'm going through on that batting stance, once it's crossed my body, I take my right hand and start sliding it up the bow. The reason I do that is I'm just readjusting my hand so that I have a nice clean position to finish in. Let's do it one more time, okay? Uh, follow along from behind again, guys. Take my right foot, bring it back, chambering, downward thrust. Get the bow well above my head, reverse sweep, slide my hand down into that baseball stance. I'm gonna step into the strike, horse riding stance, and then I slide my right hand up as I rest my left hand on my hip. I want the bow to be right down my center line, and it gives it a nice clean look for my polished finish. Hope you guys enjoyed that combination. Keep training hard.